This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 16th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather turning wet here as we start the work week, but severe weather not looking likely at all, thankfully. We'll check the SkyCam network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. That's the Jasper SkyCam from the King Building. Things are quiet there. But if you cross the state line, hey, it's raining. That's our uh, Tupelo, Mississippi SkyCam. Rain coming down during the pre-dawn hours, and that rain is slowly moving in our direction. And we'll go way down south. There's the Gulf Shore Sky Camp. Things are quiet on the Alabama Gulf Coast as we're getting close to the sun coming up down there. All right, big old nasty storm system produced a big severe weather outbreak for the Great Plains on Saturday is lifting north. And as you can see, the primary upper trough as well to the north. Surface low way up there, and you can see the trailing batch of storms and uh, will definitely be wet, but severe weather just not looking likely. In fact, there's the uh, surface analysis early this morning. The surface low is east of Minneapolis-St. Paul, 990 millibars, but uh, the good uh, wind shear is going to stay pretty far north of here. There's the radar at 5.06 a.m., and you can see that uh, band of showers and storms just creeping into northwest Alabama. And I say storms. There's hardly any lightning with that early this morning. Um, here's a look at the surface-based instability at the same hour and there's a little bit here but not much uh, looks like 250 joules up to about tuscaloosa and no doubt there'll be some thunder and there could be a strong storm later today but if we see a strong storm the main threat would be from small hail and gusty winds and we can handle that temperatures around the nation this morning uh, turning colder behind the storm system with readings in the 30s down into uh, arizona and new mexico and around here things will be pretty uh, mild Today, highs around 80. There's our watch warning map. Pretty quiet around the nation. We note a, a winter storm warning up over the Minnesota Arrowhead. But again, uh, for the east, things are quiet. There's the convective outlook today. Got the standard slight risk from parts of West Virginia and eastern Ohio north into upstate New York. And down here, just the 5% severe weather probabilities and again that would be for storms that might have uh, gusty winds and maybe some small hail later today tomorrow the uh, front just kind of stalls out a secondary wave moves along the front and the spc guys have the uh, standard slight risk east of here from near uh, macon georgia up through parts of south carolina but again severe weather not expected here and there's the rain for the next five days valid through friday evening at seven o'clock and that is suggesting rain of amounts of about one half to one inch and that sounds pretty good to us this is modeling this is the OZGFS at one o'clock today still got ridging over the southeastern states the south atlantic coast the weather system that brought the severe weather passing way north of here surface slow moving up into canada and again we'll see showers and storms around today but it's not going to rain all day and severe weather not especially likely but tomorrow the front stalls out, another wave forms on the front, and that will be another wet day. So uh, showers and storms might even be more widespread tomorrow. And then Wednesday, all of that moves east of here. Uh, the rain might linger into early, early Wednesday morning, but uh, the sky becomes partly to mostly sunny during the day as the rain moves east, and Thursday looks good. Mostly sunny and pleasant with a high in the upper 70s, if that's right. And then Friday as we... Uh, move along here that looks dry but we've got a system forming off to the west and that could bring rain by friday night in fact look at the trough on saturday this is a high amplitude pattern setting up you can see uh, a vortmax coming down through uh, arkansas that would be sharpening up the trough and this would suggest kind of a stormy day to start the weekend on saturday uh, there's no deep surface low near here to back the winds you know for a tornado threat the, the surface low is above a thousand millibars over new england but this would certainly be supported with the dynamic support of some strong storms Friday night or Saturday. And, you know, it's five days out. This could change. So uh, initially looking at this, strong storms are possible. The tornado threat would be low. And then Sunday looks good. And by golly, it starts to turn cooler. Look at that cool air advection coming down the pike. Uh, Sunday would be a mostly sunny day and kind of a cool day if this is right with uh, highs only in the 60s and then Monday of next week, uh, hey, that 540 line is down to uh, uh, you know Knoxville, Tennessee. Look at the upper chart. That's a high amplitude pattern, and you know uh, widespread frost. No, but again, for those really cold spots up in north uh, 
East Alabama, you know, the valley heads of the world, uh, Black Creek, Broomtown, all those places, they might be looking at a little frosty morning there maybe by Tuesday if this is right. But we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. All right, we'll check the end of the forecast. This is May 1st. May Day, goodness. How times are flying. Got an upper low that's over the Rockies, and that would uh, suggest kind of a warm, maybe a few showers around here, but nothing overly interesting. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or on the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.